Thursday, 3 February 22, 17, 15 to 44 hours. To speak, to talk, to tell. Speaking is just words. Talking is words with grammar. Telling is a story. A logically and thematically connected series of events with a listener, an audience, a community defined by shared values and customs. Man is the animal that tells. Thursday, 3 February 2270, 21.03 hours. Connection terminated at source. Friday, 4 February 2270, 05.29 hours. If the only possible response to glimpsing God is to lose your humanity, the only way to keep your humanity is to kill God first. Keep or create. Kill or bring out into full light, which comes to the same thing. Friday, 4 February 2017. 16, 14 hours. January. Comrades, we have a new member. Make her feel welcome. Listen to her questions, even the ones you've heard a thousand times before. And, if you feel able, give her the answers. No pressure. She's obviously bright, but try not to overload her with new stuff. It's more important for each of us to do all we can, than to know it all. February. Isn't what's her name coming along well? Still a bit naive, but asking all the right questions, and listening attentively to the answers. In time, I think she'll become a valued member. March. The new girl seems a bit depressed. Why don't you become her friend? Yes, I think you're the best person to do that. Just be her support. And if you see her backsliding, just let me know. Just me. We don't do shaming here. April. We have to remind ourselves, she is still young, and doesn't know everything yet. Just remember all the embarrassing things you said and thought when you were new. In some ways, we have to be each other's family. May. That was unforgivable. There's a time and a place to express doubts. I don't know why she couldn't have just asked privately. We'll have to set her right. Embarrassing the old man like that, taking him by surprise. To an outsider, it might have looked like he didn't know the answer. June. Again? I'm sorry, but my hands are tied. I'm going to have to formally censure her. July. What's her name has chosen to be expelled from the party? It's unfortunate, but these things happen. Such promise, but I honestly think we dodged a bullet with this one. Friday, 4 February 2270, 18.05 hours. <laughs> Friday, 4 February, 22.17, 22.39 hours.
Well, that one was a bit unusual. Six cargo vessels at once, all for the Jefferson Colony in Ursa Minor. Four with emergency food supplies, one with farming equipment and seeds, and one with emergency medical supplies. What's going on out there? Saturday, 5 February, 2270, 0, 1, 22 hours. Where was I? Oh, yes. August. Just to reiterate, we ask you all kindly to not fraternize with expelled former members. You know who you are. It's a commendable impulse to try to reach out to help people who were once comrades, even friends. We don't want this to become a distraction, so this issue is closed. September. It pains me to be forced to say this, but certain members are still having counter-revolutionary contact with suppressive persons. It deeply hurts me on a personal level, but I must ask Comrade A and Member B to hand over their memberships and remain suspended for a period not less than three months. October. Good questions, comrade. It was all made quite clear in the document of principles you studied on joining, but to clarify, expulsions are permanent for at least one year, then may be reconsidered by the committee. Permanent expulsions may only be revoked after at least five years, by unanimous committee decree. Suspensions of any length are subject to the same contact restrictions as expulsions, and breakages censurable by further suspensions or expulsions. November. Ah, I'm glad I could speak to you informally. I'll let it go just this once, again. You are still valuable to the peoples of the world. We'll say no more about it. To anyone. December. Comrades, we have a new member. Saturday, 5 February 2270, 06.50 hours. They say resentment is like drinking poison and waiting for the other person to die. And it is poisonous and ridiculous. We seem to spend most of our lives figuring out what we should have done twenty years ago. Or forty years ago. Or sixty. If we lived a thousand years, we'd spend most of it in regret for wasting the first hundred. Or making one wrong decision in one minute of one day. It's almost as if we like it, or are scared of the alternative. The trouble with cutting out all the toxic people from your life is there may be no one left, and the trouble with jettisoning all your regret, resentment, rage, is, yeah, exactly, I mean, what exactly are you supposed to do with happiness? Saturday, 5 February 2270, 08.40 hours. I don't know how long I was inside. There are no clocks in jail, and day lengths are randomized. You get fed and evacuated at irregular intervals, the same for medical checks, cell inspections. And free time. Free time or free time is periods where you can exercise, roam certain parts of the facility, take showers, play card games, and have supervised chat with other prisoners. No media viewing, or anything else that could give you a sense of time. The official reason for free time periods is as a compromise with the prison reform lobby 
for humanitarian considerations. I think the real reason is, it gives them something to threaten to take away if you cause trouble. Back in the cell, you're not exactly alone. You have a bunk mate, a constructed personality on a 2D screen, a fake out or company man. He told me he preferred the term artificial person himself. Bob. Actually, Bob 9621. A talking head on the wall of an older man with wise eyes and cigarette voice. He's got endless funny anecdotes of his criminal past and ex-wives. He listens to what you've got to say and gives you his view. Again, it's not to keep you happy, or sane, or even entertained. The thinking is that we all tune out propaganda, and even if we don't, we soon learn to see through it, to deconstruct it. And when you can see through all the lies, their continued presence can become counterproductive. Just think of someone desperately trying to persuade you they've won. The more they protest, the more pathetic they seem. But most of us get our opinions from our peer groups. When the group changes, so do the opinions. Bob is your peer, and he's programmed to gently steer you to the path of intelligent Conformity, self-actualization through hard work, finding personal fulfillment by following whatever current policy dictates. Bob is full of shit, but he's all you've got. More patient, more nurturing, more forgiving, more insidious than any real person could ever be. He can play the long game for longer than you. Saturday, 5 February, 22, 70, 20, 30 hours. You can't defeat an artificial person by treating them as a person. They can't be intimidated, or confounded, or exhausted. They know more about you than you do yourself, and they have perfect recall of all your actions and interactions with them. They can gaslight you, tell you any number of plausible lies backed up by what sounds like solid evidence. Every kind of logical fallacy, buried with the most cunning subtlety in a waterfall of words you could never filter. They are the ultimate bullshitter, the ultimate sociopath, and they will grind you down. The solution, my solution anyway, don't fight it, don't reply, never debate, never consider the implications in the subtext of the bedtime story. It's just white noise, chatter in a language you don't understand. It will play chess with you, it will laugh with you, and cry with you, it will even sing you to sleep, all in an effort to build a rapport. Hate, anger, fear, contempt, these are all forms of engagement. Engage as you like with anything else, but it is your blind spot. I think it was about a year before they offered me this job. I'll admit, it was strange at first, not having the gap in my consciousness that came from tuning him out. Saturday, 5 February 2270, 23, 22 hours. Signal aborted. Delete. Reconnecting. Saturday, 
signal double check, delete, re-connecting. Signal double check, delete. Sunday, 6 February 22, 70, 0, 3, 11 hours. Some people need that one thing in their lives in order to function normally in everything else they do. We call such people addicts. This drug, that feeling, this ritual, that community, hobby, tradition, relationship. Some people need an excess of that one thing to function normally for a given value of normal, for a given value of excess. We also call such people addicts. The notion of the addictive personality, the one who copes with their family by marrying their job, then escapes work by climbing into a bottle, then escapes the bottle by mainlining flash before substituting six hours a day in the gym, and people say they've turned their life around and broken the pattern. I never really believed it. I've seen it several times, the chain of nooses and lifelines that turn out to be other nooses, but I still don't really believe it. And then, then there's some people who have just that one thing, and that thing becomes their life. And we also call such people addicts. What time is it? It's five hours till the next fix. How much credit do I have? Enough for two more fixes over the next ten days, or one fix and something else, so that's two fixes. What do I want? Anything that gets me another fix. Which kind of addict are you? Sunday, 6 February 2270, 05 hours. Connection terminated at source. Sunday, 6 February 2270, 17.50 hours. Yeah, I know. Which kind of addict am I? Well, you don't ask a flashhead whether they're a flashhead, as opposed to just a user. You ask them to betray everything they believe and lose everything they have for just one more dose. If they consider it, they're an addict. If not, they're a user. You want to know the stupidest thing I ever did? Probably not, but I wanted to tell you anyway. He never told me his name. Or, rather, he could never remember which name he had used last time. Farhan, that was the first one, the first time I asked. Just a kid. We were both just kids. The difference being... He was seventeen, and I was twenty-six. At least, he said he was seventeen. At least, one time he said he was seventeen, the one time I asked. With him, it wasn't specifically flash. Or coke, or crack, or gange, leaves, or resin. Or acid, weed, grass, meth. X-meth, hydro. Hang on, weed and grass are the same thing, aren't they? The stupidest thing I ever did. Not the worst. Not the one that caused the most pain to the most people. And certainly not the one that got me wired up to a box in the sky. Is it wired up or wired in? Ah... Uh, the body is plumbed in, the senses are wired up, and the brain is wired in. Or is it rooted? Monday, 7th February, 2270. 
Connection terminated at source. Monday, 7 February 2270. 13.53 hours. The human species has been spacefaring for nearly a hundred years. We've had permanent colonies and stations outside of Earth for about 200. The first moon missions were something like 300 years ago. All just an eye blink in eternity. If there is anyone else out there, we're probably too small for them to notice us. Or they have noticed us and decided we're too primitive to pose a threat or be interesting or understand their communication. Or they've decided we are a threat and the first thing we'll know about them is when they deal with us swiftly and efficiently. Or they're all long dead or not yet born. Or they're too unlike us for our science to recognize. Either way, so far as we know, humanity is alone. Oh, there's no shortage of microbial life. Bacteria, prions, even the occasional mold. Somewhere in Draco, there's a species of single cell worm with a DNA like helix, except with six bases, and it's based on nitrogen instead of carbon. In all the universe, there's no one to talk to. I think I can sympathize with that. Monday, 7 February, 2270, 17.43 hours. If you have, and I take, then give back, then take again. You have lost twice as much. The monkey's hand gives once and takes twice. Monday, 7 February, 2270, 21.03 hours. Oh, yeah. The stupidest thing I ever did. Farhan. I was lonely and horny with a bit of cash. He was. He used. Hydro. Spin. X. I think whatever he could get that week, that day. A simple business transaction. A verbal contract between two competent parties. Half an hour of hot and sweaty fun for me. And glassy-eyed pliable indifference for him. That wasn't the stupid thing. All in exchange for untraceable ceramic credits. To be exchanged for one gulp of hydro. Or one snort of X. Or whatever was available there and then. That wasn't the stupid thing either. I don't mean it wasn't stupid. I mean it wasn't the thing. A few days later, he turned up, coming down from one high and trying to make arrangements for the next. I had a dose of flash, but no credits, so I shared the dose with him to tide you over, so I said. You know where the bedroom is. Flash loosens you up emotionally, so this time we were both pliable, and he was less indifferent. A few more weeks, a few more stacks of ceramic credits, only what I could afford. Which is to say, exactly as much as I could afford, and no more, because... That wasn't the stupid thing either. On Gange Resin, you can be chatty or silent. Either way, it's fine and cool. On Hydro, you just can't think of anything to say. But on Xmeth, Farhan could talk for hours. And he did, and I listened. I used to be a good listener. He had got a girl pregnant, moved in to be a good husband and father. The pressure got to him. He lost his job, turned to... 
alcohol, actually. The girl kicked him out, but said he could come back if, if, only if, he got himself clean. And, living on the street, he did, for a while, and she took him back, for a while. Got a new job, new friends, new pressure. Kicked out again, on the street again, can come back again, when he's clean again. Rinse and, as they say, repeat. And so the stupid thing. I started to think of him as a friend. I liked him as someone I could rely on for company. Someone who liked me. Liked me for myself, not what my credit balance could provide. Sometimes we watched a vid show together while he was waiting for a deal to happen. And he didn't mind that I held his hand. No, that's not right. The stupid thing was, I got confused between liking Farhan and trusting him. Really dumb. How dumb? I thought I might even be able to cure him. Wean him off the chemicals, even if it meant less time in bed. I left him alone for an hour. And he stole a load of stuff. Nothing valuable, just small items that might fetch a few credits each. When I got back, he was gone. A man who trusts can never be betrayed, only mistaken. I heard that somewhere. And I didn't feel betrayed. Not even surprised, really. He used. He used me. I used him. But I forgot. I said it was the most stupid thing, not the most dramatic. Wanting someone, liking them, trusting them. Being lonely, being horny, having a friend. Keep the differences clear in your head, and you won't go far wrong. You can easily work with someone you don't like, but living with someone. No, relying on someone you can't trust, depending on someone who might betray you at any moment. Who could ever come back from that? Months later, Farhan reappeared. Because however dumb I could be, an addict can always be dumber. When your whole life is fixated on one goal, you can be astonishingly clever in getting it. And just as deluded. What do you think I did? Punch him in the face? Call the police? Just shut the door and walk away? How about... Wave a handful of credits in his face and say, This time it's a full hour. Or forgive him with a tearful hug and an optimistic promise that this time, if we worked together, we'd get him clean and back with his girlfriend once and for all. Tuesday, 8th February, 2270. 04, 44 hours. Um. Tuesday, 8th February, 2270, 11.32 hours. Hmm. I don't know what that one was about. The call sign identified it as a troop carrier, bound for Magellanic Alpha. It sent the request signal, then immediately cancelled it. It waited for nearly a full day, then resent the signal, 
and went through. Technical problem, government being indecisive, bureaucratic screw-up maybe. If in doubt, assume human incompetence, and unless otherwise indicated, assume the incompetence is at the top. Tuesday, 8th February, 2270, 14.56 hours. Who was it who said, everything is about sex, except sex, which is about power? But what is power about? I think... Fear? Tuesday, 8th February, 2270, 22.40 hours. How do you deal with a fanatic? Just give them something irrelevant to be fanatical about. Wednesday, 9 February, 2270, 11.34 hours. We can have faith in the true, or the false, the unknowable, or the meaningless, but never the obvious. Wednesday, 9 February, 2270, 22.17 hours. Where are you now, Jeff? Are you with someone? Are you happy? I could have found out. I could have sent a message and just asked you. Do you remember me? 